guys, it's Janiksa. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing something definitely different. My husband here is going to paint my nails today. This is going to be interesting for a few reasons. <laughs> One, because, well, he doesn't know how to paint nails. And two, because he's right-handed and his right hand He's had surgeries on his right hand, so it doesn't quite work the way that our hands work. So it'll be really interesting, fun. Obviously, this is just for fun. So let's see what he chose for me today. Come on, tell us what you chose. <laughs> A primer, obviously, it's the first one. Okay. So this what, is the base coat. Okay, and what brand is that one from? Static nails. Okay. And what then else? I went with. Uh, I grabbed the top coat. So bring it up here so, so they I can see it. Brought it. I picked the top coat. And I know he doesn't know how to pronounce that because I barely know how to pronounce it. This one is the Sitcha Beat top coat. Yeah, I definitely wasn't saying that. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm colorblind, so she's gonna have. Guess. Yes, that's another thing that makes this whole thing interesting is he's colorblind and I chose, I told him to choose a color, any color, just pick whatever you want. And he chose this one by Etsy. And the name's on the top. Tide of your life. <laughs> yeah, and I'll bring it closer so you guys can see it a little better. So that's what he chose. And just in case you didn't see the base coat, he chose a primer for um, static nails and then the Sitcha V. And I will apologize if you guys hear noise from our kids. They are in the other room and they are wondering why mom and dad are locked up in this room for a few minutes doing this video. But uh, we promised them some cookies or a surprise or something afterwards, so they'll be good. <laughs> Yeah, but uh, let's go ahead and get into it. So, I'm starting out with the primer, which is going to be hilarious because I've never done this. <laughs> and this is how you know I love her. All right. And I'm not going to give him any pointers or anything like that. He's just going to do it based off of what he's learned from me talking about nail polish nonstop. <laughs> Which means I'm not going to do a good job because I don't pay attention half the time. <laughs> And just in case you guys are wondering, this empty spot behind me, eventually I want this entire wall to be Essie. It's actually filled with three rows of Essies and I'm hoping that, you know, my collection will continue to grow and this entire wall will be Essie. So that's why this is empty because I currently don't have anything um, to put there that I want on my wall. My wall is special. <laughs> All right, you finished the base coat. Now what do we do? You have to let it dry. Okay. How long do you think base coat takes to dry? I want to say maybe two or three minutes at most. Okay. Actually, I'm going to let it dry a lot faster because that looks like it's soaking in pretty good. So... Based on looks, the thinner coats that I put on dry faster, and your first nail I obviously put too much on. But, we'll see. All right, so you think you're ready to go in with the color? I do. Okay. <laughs> no, you know, I'm gonna give it a couple more seconds. I think you're not quite dry yet. You're still a little tacky, so. But I will say, base coat is meant to be tacky because you want the nail polish to adhere to it. So, all right. it'll always be tacky, basically. Oh, that one's hard to open, there we go. 
Mind you, she knows my hand doesn't work, but yet she wants me to open these little bottles. <laughs> oh. He's learned to adapt to a new hand. <laughs> Let's see how bad I can get the cuticles. Oh, God. If you guys saw my Brazil manicure, you know how much this is going to hurt. <laughs> Can you stay still? I am still. <laughs> Don't breathe. I'm on that. You want me to hold my breath? <laughs> so we have to be in silence while he's painting my nail. <laughs> I actually don't think I did a bad job there. No, you actually did really well. <laughs> There's one coat on one nail. So, I'll move my hand Because a bit. my hand is messed up, I need you to move slightly. And I'm sure you guys noticed that we are wearing the same shirts. Yes, we are that couple that likes to dress in the same clothes, but as he will probably tell you, it's mainly me who makes him wear the same shirts as me. <laughs> Blackmail. We'll say he's being very careful. So again, if you guys saw my Brazilian, my reaction to the Brazilian manicure, quite honestly, I think so far my husband is doing a better job. Oh, did we even tell them what your name is? No, and that's perfectly fine with me. <laughs> it's not like you have a unique name like me, Johnny Xa. His name is John, by the way. Can you turn your hand slightly? Keep it down, but just move it a little bit for me, please. <laughs> all right there we have one coat of essie's tide of your life we're gonna give this a few minutes to dry and we'll come back for top coat top coat okay okay we've let this Top, first coat dry for a few minutes here and right now what are you gonna do touch up the pinky you're gonna touch up the pinky okay let's keep it in frame let me move my hand there you go oh and just in case you're wondering guys my husband does have psoriasis so if you see his hands a little bit you know um with some scabs. That's what it is. It's just a psoriasis. Okay. So, you tell me what's next. By glancing at them, I see that the first coat is a little light. So I'm going to touch up a little bit and let it dry and then I'll put a top coat on. Okay. If I'm wrong, sue me. No, you're actually right. You usually do want to do two coats of every polish. And by the way, I got outvoted on doing this video. I actually posted on our Discord for a game I play that she wanted me to do this and the other ladies told me I had to do it. <laughs> That I was outvoted, so I didn't get an opinion. And even my sister agreed that he should do it. So, with that being said, I'm doing this against my will. No, you're not. <laughs> he loves me. <laughs> so. 
So I know I keep going in and out of the video and leaning down and you're seeing more of my head than my actual face while I'm painting the nail. Um, I do pay attention to detail when I'm doing something, so that's kind of why I'm more focused on her hand than staring at the camera. Um, I don't want to make a big mess. <laughs> You guys, he's like really concentrating here. His leg is even shaking like he's trying so hard not to make a mess. By the way, the kids are being very good. We do need to give them a reward. <laughs> Julie's already waiting on her surprise. Yeah, we told our daughter that if she was nice and quiet and watched her show while we did this, she was going to get a surprise. So... Now we have to come up with a surprise to give her. <laughs> All right, second coat is done. I'm going to let this dry for a minute or two, and then I will apply a top coat and be done. All right, so we'll be back in a couple minutes, only a couple of seconds for you guys. <laughs> Hi, guys. We're back. It's time to apply the top coat. Now let's see how bad I messed this up, because this is pretty runny. It's a brand new bottle of the top coat. You guys know that when you first use one of these brand new bottles, they're perfect. But then as you keep using them, they get um, gloopy and stringy and thick. I can't believe you didn't hit record. <laughs> yeah, I didn't hit record on the other camera that's recording my hand. So he's reapplying some top coat there. hands are shaking <laughs> in all fairness hey, why are you shaking so much in all fairness i've never done this in my life and i don't like to make a mess so, so you're like a perfectionist when it comes to these kinds of things i wouldn't say a perfectionist but i don't want to leave a bunch of mess to clean up <laughs> well, since you didn't hit record, this nail looks a little messed up. Oh, it's my fault that the nail looks a little bit messed up. <laughs> it is. My first application was spot on. <laughs> All right. So are we done? We are done. You know what, you guys? This actually looks really, really good. I'm impressed. Honestly, this his application looks way better than the very first time that I was painting my nails. <laughs> I mean, when I was first painting my nails, I was flooding my cuticles like crazy. And he, minus one nail, didn't really flood my cuticles at all. So I'm really surprised. I... Not that I didn't have faith in you, but I thought this was going to be a lot worse. <laughs> what do you think? Not bad for only being able to use two fingers. Yeah, he was Actually painting three. with just two fingers, um, you know, because the other three on so, his hand don't really work. On my hand, these two fingers, I have some use of, and my thumb. These ones don't bend and grip. I don't have much feeling in them. So that's why I was shaking a little more, um, trying to stay steady. And uh, there you go. Well, I honestly think this was a success. I really thought this was going to look pretty bad. Sorry, babe, but I did. <laughs> but you did really good. I'm proud of you. Don't expect this type of treatment all the time. <laughs> Yeah, maybe he'll paint my nails for me from now on. No. I'll just lay back and let him paint my nails. <laughs> well, right. well it's I nice think... to meet everyone. Have a great day. <laughs> you going to do my outro for me? <laughs> no. <laughs> well, that's it, you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in to this video where my husband did my nails for me. I really hope you enjoyed Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!